Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's continue with our next video on how to calculate the forward rate. Sometimes students, okay, sometimes you are not being given with forward points. So what we can do with the points can be calculated by using the interest rate differentials on two currency. So based on the interest rate differentials, foreign currency forward rates can also be at a premium on or discount from the spot rate. Okay, the rules to determine this is as follows. The country that has a higher interest rate, its currency is at forward discount. What does it mean? Its currency tends to appreciate. Let's recall what we have learned in the beginning of this chapter. When one country offer high interest rate on investment, high interest rate on deposits, what will happen? It will attract more foreign investor to invest in our country. When they are interested to invest, okay, to make investment in our country, what will happen? Our currency will be demanded for. The demand of our currency will increase. Bila demand duit kita meningkat, what will happen? Our currency values tend to appreciate appreciate but if our country okay has a lower interest rate okay our currency is at forward premium what does it mean our currency tends to depreciate bila kita offer low interest rate to foreign investor they will become less attracted to invest in our country our country so what will happen the demand of our currency will fall when the demand of our currency falls what will happen our currency will depreciate so please try to relate this okay with the factors that can influence the demand and supply of foreign currency you have learned this in the beginning of this chapter okay how to calculate the forward rate point so this is the formula spot rate times interest rate differentials times forward days over 360 days okay the number of forward days depends on the what forward points you are calculating if you are calculating for one month forward point maksudnya number of days forward days will be 30 days if you are calculating for nine months uh, three months three months forward points maksudnya kat sini 90 days lah okay okay so this is the formula again spot rate times interest rate differentials time forward days over 360 days how to calculate the interest rate differentials inilah formulanya okay interest rate of home currency minus the interest rate of foreign currency and these two interest, rate, interest rates must be in decimal form let's take a look at this example okay today the nsh bank quotes the following exchange rates for 100 unit of japanese yen and 100 unit of indonesian rupiah respectively so they bagi ringgit per japanese yen 100 and also ringgit per 100 of indonesian rupiah if the three months interest rate offer rates for offer rates for ringgit, yen and rupiah are three point five percent. Ini siapa punya? Malaysia ringgit punya interest rate three percent for Japanese yen and eight percent for Indonesian rupiah. Compute the three months forward discount or premium for both exchange rate. The question asks for annualized uh, forward premium or discount. But before we can calculate this, of course we have to calculate the forward outright rates first. But since the forward points are not given, kita kena lah kira dulu. So, this is how to calculate the 3 months Bitcoin, okay, for Malaysian ringgit per Japanese yen 100. Okay, this is actually the formula here that I gave to you kat atas ni. So, ambil uh, spot bit 3.5900 sebab we are calculating for Bitcoin, kena guna spot bit lah. Okay, 3.5900 times the interest rate differential. This is the interest rate for Malaysia, 0 0.035 minus the Japanese yen punya interest rate, 0 0.03. Okay, times 90 over 366 days, you will get 0 0.0045. And Anak, please try to calculate by using your calculator. Alright, try to put in all the figures there. You will, okay, what will appear on your calculator screen? Ah, macam ni. Alright, dia akan appear macam ni. So, how to read this figure? Okay, kat belakang ni ada negatif 0.3 menurut saya starting from the uh, ni, the titik perpuluhan tu the point here, you bawa ke depan 3 tempat perpuluhan. Sebab 0.3 maksudnya 3. So, daripada titik ni 1, 2, 3. Alright, so how many zero before 4? Ada 2 kosong sebelum um, 4. Ha, okay, daripada 4 ada titik kat belakang ni kan? 1, 2, 3. So, letak titik sini. How many zeros before 4? 
to zero. Okay. Alright, so that would be the three months big point. So kalau kat belakang ni dia keluar neg negatif kosong empat. So starting from the titik perpuluhan dia bawa ke depan empat titik. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So how many zero before four? Three. So kalau kat belakang ni negatif kosong empat lah. So that's how to read the uh, value. Alright, on your calculator screen. Ha, jangan nanti, macam mana nak baca ni? Ha, jangan, jangan. Okay. Bila kita gunakan, dia jadi 45 lah eh. Okay. And then for 3 month as point, also the same calculation. Cuma kat depan ni gantikan dengan uh, spot as rate. The spot as, as rate is 3.6220. Okay, times with the interest rate uh, differential. Malaysian interest rate minus Japanese interest rate. Okay. Times 90 over 360. Also you will get positive 0 0.045. Ini baru... The big points and the ask point. Barulah pula kita kira the outright rates. Okay, outright rates. For 3 months big, how 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 can you calculate the value? You plus. If you get the big points positive eh anak-anak, automatic you akan tambah. So, it will be forward premium. So, the forward bid rate, okay, for Malaysian ringgit per Japanese yen is 3.5945. For the ask rate pula adalah 3.6265. Okay. Barulah boleh kira the forward premium or discount. Okay. By using this formula. If you're calculating for 3 months annualized bid. Maka kat depan ni adalah forward rate bid minus spot rate bid over over spot rate bid. The apa? The 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 sasul-sasul nak sebut. Okay. Times 12 over 3. Ataupun times 360 over 90 pun boleh ha, sebab 360 bahagi 90 12 per 3 lah kan kalau nak buat 4 pun boleh juga sebab apa 12 bahagi 3 tu maksudnya 4 per 1 mana-mana yang mudah lah janji membawa maksud yang sama boleh nak nak ok so in this case for 3 months annualized forward premium bid ok you take the forward rate bid minus the spot rate bid over the spot rate bid ok times 360 over 90 times 100% you will get 0.5014% and then for the 3 month annualized premium uh, 3 months annualized forward premium ask rate okay forward rate ask minus the spot rate ask over the spot rate ask times 360 over 90 again times 100% you will get 0.497% that one is for ringgit Malaysia per Japanese yen now let's calculate for Malaysian ringgit per and you need to repair 100. Sama juga method dia how to calculate the 3 months bid point. Ambil spot bid rate ni times interest rate differential. Alright. Malaysia punya interest tolak Indonesia punya interest. But in this case, Indonesia punya interest is, is higher than Malaysian punya interest rate. So what will happen? The value in this kurungan will get negative. Betul? Kan? Betul kan? Ha, times 90 over 360, you will get negative 0 0.0005. Ini kat calculator tu, mesti dia appear kat belakang ni, negatif 04. Maksudnya daripada belakang 5 ni, titik perpuluhan dia macam mana? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ha, so, 3 zero before, 3 zeros before 5. Okay? So, since the value is negative, to calculate the outright rate, 3 month outright rate, B and us, kita... We have to minus. Okay, so this is 3 months outright bid. Bid, brother. Bid rate. This one is 3 months outright as rate for Malaysia ringgit per 100 unit of rupiah. Ha, huh, penat dah bercakap. Okay, let's continue. The 3 months annual life forward premium, samalah keedah nak kira dia. Okay, so for... Uh, bid punya annualized premium Bukan annualized premium eh Annualized discount lah In this case uh, You letak discount eh Why? Because you get negative value 4.87% And then for the 3 months annualized forward premium Ask You will get negative 4.30% So that's how to calculate the forward rate If the forward points are not given Kita kira dulu point Guna interest rate differential so let's do this question, June 2018 question 2. Given to you ringgit per 100 unit of yen and also ringgit per 1 unit of euro. As you can see, there is no forward point given to you, only 6 months interest rate. 6 months ni bersamaan 180 days anak-anak. So dia bagi for Malaysia 3%, Japan 4.5% and for German 2.5%. First question, calculate the 6-month bid and ask or offer forward rates. 
okay, for ringgit per yen and ringgit per euro. So, we will use this formula to calculate the forward point. First, calculate the 6 month bid point first. The formula is spot bid times uh, Malaysian interest minus dengan uh, Japanese interest rate, okay, times 180 days over 360. Madam, madam, yang ni nak letak 1 per 2 boleh? Boleh. Alright, sebab 180 bahagi 360 equals to 1 per 2 lah. Half 1 per 2. Okay, so we get negative 0 0.0252 for the bit point, 6 my bit point. For the as point, ganti kat sini dengan spot as rate, time interest rate differential times 180 over 360. Also give you the same value, negative 0.0252. Boleh ke sama medium? It's okay, no problem. And then calculate the Ha, barulah jawab soalan dia. Calculate the 6 month outright rate for bid and offer rate. Okay. We have to minus the value. Why? Because you dapat bid point dengan ask point dua-dua negative. Of course, bila bid point negative, ask point point will also be, be negative. So, this would be the 6 month outright rate for uh, ringgit per Japanese yen. Bid dia berapa? 3.3348. The 6 month ask dia berapa? 3.3386. And then you will calculate for ringgit Malaysia per euro. Sama lah. You have to calculate the bit point first. In this case, uh, it will be forward premium. Kenapa? Interest Malaysia lagi tinggi daripada interest dekat Jerman. So for this bit point, 6 month bit point, you will get 0 0.01111 for the 6 month as point. Okay, even though you use different spot rate, of course lah. Yang atas ni, you guna bit kan. Yang bawah, you guna as uh, spot as point spot as rate sorry spot as rate but disebabkan value dia tu kecil nilai jawapan for both answers are just the same 0 0.0111 and then calculate the outright rates for bid and for us this will be the answer the final answer for question 1 and then for question 2 calculate the spot bid as percentage spread for ringgit per yen and ringgit per euro for ringgit per yen Japanese yen 100 Take the ask price. Dia minta spot eh, anak-anak. Maksudnya yang today's current punya uh, uh, quotes. Okay. So, ambil spot dia. 3.3638. Okay. Tolakkan dengan bid dia. Tadi ambil spot ask. Tolak spot bid. 3.36 over ask balik. 3.3638 times 100%. You will get 0.113%. Kalau soalan kata the percentage of bid offer spread on the 6 month. Punya uh, exchange rate, kita kena guna nilai ni lah. Uh, okay. As tolak bid yang ni. Guna yang forward. Tapi sebab dia minta for spot, kita akan guna yang spot punya. Okay. Spot rate punya. And then for ringgit per euro. Uh, rot besar ni patutnya euro. Okay. You will take again the spot as 4.4232 minus the bid 4.4210. Over the ask time 100%, you will get 0.0497%. Question 3. Alah laju pula, mak tunjuk jawapan. Patah balik, patah balik. Okay. Question 3, the amount of ringgit would you would receive if you exchange with. Alright. Uh, kat tangan kita ada apa? Yen 25 million for delivery in 6 months. How much ringgit would you receive? Okay. So, you are. Eh, silap. Saya kena eh, 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 eh. Enter sepatutnya. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So, since you are going to sell yen 25 million in 6 months, what will happen? Bank will buy. So, since bank will buy, bank of course will use the bid rate. Okay. So, kita akan ambil bid 6 months. Mana bid 6 months? Here. 3.3348. Okay, you times. Since the currency given dalam yen 25 million, exchange rate pula dalam ringgit. So, kita akan darab. But however, since it is uh, over 100 yen, so kita kena bahagi yen serah. 100. You will get how much? 833,700 ringgit. So, dengan jumlah banyak ni duit ringgit. Semula, dengan yen 25 juta, kita akan dapat balik ringgit berapa banyak mana? 833,700 ringgit. Ha, okay. And then for question 4, dia minta cross rate. 6 month cross rate yen against euro. Kalau against maksudnya yen per euro eh. Okay. So common currency, cuba tengok. Common currency, ringgit on many side unit. So when ringgit is on many side unit, the formula would be bid foreign over us home and then us foreign over bid home. But don't forget to times Japanese yen, 100. So the answer will be for the bid rate. Okay. 
Japanese yen 132.732.7532 yen over 1 unit of euro for the bid rate eh, 6 month bid rate for the 6 month ask rate the answer will be Japanese yen 132.9705 over euro 1 so that's how to answer June 2018 to make it uh, better okay practice makes perfect please do these three questions okay all right okay that's all for uh forward rates okay but please we have other videos on currency arbitrage enjoy all the videos assalamualaikum